So let me start by saying thanks for clicking on this video. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers and everybody that comments. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be something a little different for my channel. Uh, those who follow me know that I'm primarily into vintage drums. I probably have less than a handful of brand new drums. But when Tama released a statement, I think last summer, or maybe towards the end of the last summer, that they were reissuing some snares and a few kits, uh, this snare really piqued my interest as a vintage one is just they go for more money than I'm willing to spend. Um, so I ended up ordering this um, like mid-January, like January 13th. I tried to order them a couple other places and they were already sold out. Uh, Guitar Center happened to uh, say they had one in stock. Uh, turns out I ordered it and then I got a notification a day or two later saying they were out of stock and back ordered. So after a couple months, I just kind of forgot about it. I never thought I was going to get it. And I woke up last Sunday to a notification saying that it shipped. You know, after six months of waiting, I just honestly didn't think I was ever going to get one. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this today and then I'll, um, I'll play on it a little bit for you guys and we'll, we'll really check out the quality of it. Um, the first thing I noticed when I picked it up is you can kind of hear it shaking in the box. It's not packed completely tight. So that's a little worrisome. The box is in pretty decent condition. The sides caved in a little bit. But, um, you know, we'll see what's inside. That It probably didn't touch the drum is what I'm guessing. But when I pack drums, you can't hear them uh, sliding back and forth like that. Also, if you notice in the background, I'm checking out Mike Malone's new video. If you haven't heard of him, I'd suggest checking out his channel. He's a really nice guy. He does these cool videos once a month where he visits different shops or builders. Gives you kind of a behind-the-scenes look to places I'll probably never get to travel to. sure exactly what that is uh, it says 50 Tama in the years 1974 to 2024 oh yeah it's safe let's see Cardboard. There it is, Tama Rosewood, the infamous Alex Van Halen snare. Wow, my first impression is this is a beautiful drum. I mean, the chrome is really nice. The finish is really nice. So we'll take an up close look at this. Originally they were only supposed to make 50 of them, but I think the demand kind of shocked them. So they ended up making more, but that's the serial number. It's just a gorgeous drum. It wasn't cheap by any means. It wasn't as expensive as a vintage one, but um, 
definitely wasn't cheap. So it's got the old school tone control. Uh, it's got the extended wires. Everything is just pretty much identical to what the old ones were. The die cast hoop, uh, the coffin lugs, strainer, pretty much everything's an exact copy of what they used to make. Just beautiful. I'm really excited. So it also came with Atama branded ambassador snare side head, uh, Remo USA head, which is which is good, not the the cheap um, import heads. And it's got a Atama branded ambassador on the top too. Let's see what's in this little hockey puck they sent me. I imagine it's probably a key. And that's what it is. Ooh, nice red key. And that's my favorite key with the nub at the top. I have a bunch of these, but I don't have a red one. That's really cool. Red anodized. So like I said, it's got the extended wires on it. They run past the bearing edge. Um, I believe they're offering up all the pots for this too, which is awesome because these wires were really hard to find. There were people custom making them. Um, but it's nice to have Tama wires again, and I think they're offering all the lugs and everything else. So that's good. If you need a replacement lug, like I said, pots for these were really hard to find for, a, for a long time. Um, you usually have to buy used vintage stuff or, um, you know, or make wires, stuff like that. So now I'll, uh, I'll bang on it a little bit. I'm not going to go through the tuning ranges or anything like that. I'm going to play it just like they sent it to me. So there it is, the Tama 50th Anniversary Rosewood Snare. I love it. I think it sounds really fat. I was going to replace the Ambassador on it with like a reverse dot or something like that, but I think it sounds great with the Ambassador on it. Nice and fat and deep. Um, I'm guessing the 815 at the end of my serial number is this was the 815 drum. Like I said, they weren't expecting the demand they got for them. Originally, it was only supposed to be 50. I'm wondering how many they're actually going to make or if they're just filling back orders. Um, what's funny is this tag here has January 13th on it, which is the day I got the back order notification. So I'm guessing they're probably just filling back orders and whatever they have in for orders will be the total number made. That's just a guess. Um, it's just a beautiful drum. I, I love it. I think it sounds awesome. It really makes me want the bell brass now. And uh, that may have to happen sooner or later. But anyways, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, all that stuff as you guys always do. And I really appreciate it. And take care.